uh, welcome back so this is the portion of uh, the presentation the demonstration and presentation for hyperledger community today that is uh, 26th august 2020 and the, some of the recordings uh, were missing in the original thing so i am just doing a small session a small recording session which can be attached to the main thing so that when they upload to the youtube it becomes a complete video that's fine so the presentation of my work so i have four notes these are the four notes i have 1 2 3 4 and i have a client also then i got uh, one of the validator i logged in readily so that we can do some kind of checking these are the four four nodes plus client plus one uh, validator node login so that this can be used for some checking so as i told uh, each of the nodes we have to run the transaction processor each of the validator nodes so the validator node contains a validator and a transaction processor running on that part so let me run the transaction processor my transaction processor is uh, tp2 here dot slash tp2 and before that this is the test this is the file this is a log file and you can see it is a symbolically linked to var log test file and this test file is getting populated to through help uh, Yes, it's log basically in our system log. So I run. Let me run a TP2 over here. So in each one of the nodes, let me run TP2 node one, node zero, node one. This is node two. This is node three. I'm sorry. Last TP2, no three. So, transaction processor is running in all the nodes. You can see here the family name is uh, logs and version is point one and the namespace is uh, this is the uh, prefix. Um, uh, I run on that part. So then comes the client part. This is my client part. I'm sorry. This is the client part. This is the client part. Node four is the client part. so this is the client the client programs over here and you can also see there is a test file here so the uh, the client is basically representing the log source the log source is having already having a log file that is a test file it is also available in real time in my work uh, it's supposed to carry the log file uh, should be transported in real time to all the validator nodes so everything everyone uh, uh, is having that same test file supposed to have the same test file uh, and let me run the client program here <coughs> cargo run and before that let me see what is the height of the block blockchain so i log into one of the nodes that is node 0 command line is sort to block list and i just say more so there are 18 blocks already so let me fire one more thing cargo run so you can see here uh, when the client started submitting the transaction to one of the validator nodes so the pb i mean uh, the validator nodes exchanges the transaction and the blocks are arrived consensus then the consensus applied and then uh, uh, it is appended to the blockchain you can see over here so let me check what is the height of the block now it is 19 previously it was 18 previously it was 19 no one more thing one more time the same file i just run it once again nothing wrong in that part yeah so i just check what is the block size is it is 
so now the blockchain everything is okay after six months alter comes and you ask me for a log file let me run uh, the the verification program it is available in this setup it is available in the same machine but in a separate directory here where the verification programs are all stored and here I have what is called a test file so in the previous demo what I have done is uh, I have modified the test file here at this location I just reset that part now I run this is the uh, now I assume this particular test file this particular test file is presented to the auditor now the auditor runs the pro verification program the verification program contacts one of the blockchain node and uh, this is a style one implementation so I am going to dig the transaction I am going to dig the transactions uh, in the blockchain and uh, each transaction contains a payload then I verify the payload taken hash or the given file compare the hash if it is fine it is okay so cargo run this is my verification program yeah verification program is completed very fast because of rust I believe and the file size is also smaller around 20 MB or something and you can see here so the verification uh, program uh, from one of the blockchain node take the transaction start with byte 1 and it finds it's a byte uh, this is the end byte the hash of this is this one and blockchain hash is this one and file hash is this one so result is okay both are same similarly for other things the next file block uh, in the transaction it is found this one so the file hash is calculated this one whereas the blockchain hash in the transaction payload is this one if it is same it is okay and you can see that the when everything is okay when each and every file block of the given file is okay then I say the file is not the given file is not tampered now for demonstration I tamper the file this is the auditor given file by the log administrator to the auditor and I tamper the file somewhere here I just change instead of J I just put lowercase j and make it now I run the verification program once again I go back I started in the I tampered at the beginning of the file so you can see here yeah I started at the beginning of the file and the file hash shown as this one whereas the blockchain hash remains this one so it is not matching so it is false rest of the things are matching and rest of the file blocks are okay which means that this is the partial verification I can trust the rest of the things but I can't trust this part so this is a style one demo in this verification program basically I am digging and in style one I am having only once I take only one state in the block uh, I mean the sawtooth uh, 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 the, the Merkle try I want take only one state only one location I store everything trying to store everything over there but I am depending everything in the blockchain see every transaction is also got recorded in the blockchain so I am relying on that part rather than the state so this is about the style one because of time I am uh, restricting myself with style 1, style 2 is also available and probably in the next time or next uh, forum uh, we can show that part. So coming back to my presentation screen, the conclusion, see that my program is in a very experimental prototyping, so a lot of things to needs to be added, for example I have to give the stream name, so by default it is taking a test file, I have to take as, uh, any given stream name I have to take it and right now it is in a fixed block so file block size is fixed and that can be made and moreover all these things can be parameterized uh, then the persistence may help to update blocks in near real time uh, that is also one of the feature which is very much required now what I am doing is real time I am transporting the logs uh, to the various validator nodes but uh, blockchain creation is not done in the real time so that also can be done in the real time uh, uh, probably uh, we have to go a uh, little bit in uh, various uh, algorithms uh, which can help to achieve uh, 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 without getting blocked and uh, 
block remains i mean i o block without getting this block and then it should uh, able to make it that, that has to be worked out so in my program i did not explore much of generics of rust probably if i use uh, generics in rust uh, my program could have been more elegant yeah and exhaustive testing and uh, uh, we it may be done on the program to find out if there is any bug or not the lock transport mechanism right now it is a prototype and so i use uh, uh, the very simple rcs lock the rel uh, module and transport for the lock transport but there are other things uh, there are many lock lock transport mechanisms are there which may be explored which may be plugged in anyway i mean the transport mechanism and my programs are completely decoupled what are the challenges i faced lack of text material for blockchain so blockchain is relatively a recent concept uh, or about uh, i think about 10 or uh, uh, 12 years or so so uh, the text material is not available a text material i mean from academic uh, perception sort of programming documentation may be improved especially the rust stk uh, yeah, yeah that has to be improved rust itself is a very intimidating and lot of concept to be absorbed because i am new to rust relatively new to rust so a lot of concepts to be absorbed and a uh, lot of style and lot of philosophies to be understood for making efficient program that was very intimidating to start with thanks to arun uh, so and thanks to rust community and here is my acknowledgement i thank arun uh, i mean our arun and uh, he helped me a lot uh, so what happened is uh, uh, i mean i think somewhere in march or beginning of april on midnight i got up and i thought i stuck up in the project because i took rust and uh, uh, things are not moving forward then i wrote arun uh, should i jump to python uh, or i think i wrote something uh, in a very uh, uh, distressed manner uh, whether to make it he replied he sent me two sample of his course by just looking few lines in the code and i got my energy back and then uh, his style i really uh, liked it so i mean uh, even the file name convention in my program also ends with the dot helper whenever i want to include a module uh, the, the file in my rust program dot helper that's really a nice uh, thing which i liked it so i used that part so i thank him uh, many times i send a mail so uh, my header size is like this is it okay he replies me back uh, and he suggests me why don't you run some prototype and then try to find out uh, so a lot of support like came from uh, our own uh, hyperledger community especially our own and lot of things i ran, received Uh, many mails from rust communities and many conversations uh, uh, on rust communities and uh, this thing i used to ask some simple uh, absurd questions to rust community and they answer in a very um, uh, polite way and uh, uh, that improved my rust learning also to some extent uh, and lot of we uh, and uh, uh, i have to thank the lockdown uh, because the lockdown helped me uh, i think in the last week of march and full first week of the full month of april uh, i mean i myself immersed with this particular project uh, learning things trying lot of things uh, parallelly and uh, i tried how to use cbar lot of sub programs how i written and uh, i keep myself very engaged uh, evening i used to go to a uh, office and for a walk and then make it my office is very near to me uh, present residence so that helped me a lot so uh, lockdown gave me a lot of time and patience and uh, thanks to my advisor uh, academic advisor uh, um, uh, professor revathi professor varli and uh, professor akila um, uh, and administration for making it and a lot of online materials available so that helped me a lot so with that i stop here i think arun can attach this segment of video uh, with that uh, the main recording and then uh, uh, makes the things uh, appear better thank you